Four candidates running for the Ed Couchelsea School Board have filed a lawsuit against the district. They're requesting a temporary restraining order to stop tonight's school board meeting. A judge signed the restraining order today. CBS 4's Joel Flores has the very latest. This man has been in the educational system for 50 years. And, uh, and you know, why do you want to replace him? I mean, simple as that. I don't know, and I don't know if they want to replace him or not, but at the end of the day, I didn't want to take that chance. Wednesday's Ed Couch Elsa School Board meeting agenda included discussion and possible action on Superintendent Richard Rivera's contract. However, on Tuesday, candidates representing Team Better Together requested a judge block the school board from meeting. Teachers that were going to be hired, we had some uh, teacher aides, we had um, stipends that, that had to be voted on today. And uh, obviously that's not going to be able to happen. Air Couch Elsa ISD School Board President Victor Hugo de la Cruz, who's not running for re-election, says he wanted the board to extend Rivera's contract and thinks a majority of the trustees would support the move. It's all new uh, people running. There's no sitting board members. Uh, and, uh, you know, why count the chicks before they hatch? Bottom line. I think it's a tricky situation. Um, I just hope for the better for the school district. So far, I like what's been going on. According to the lawsuit, Team Better Together argues if the current board extends Rivera's contract, they will be forcing the future board to continue honoring the new extended contract of the superintendent or be forced to buy out the contract in order to seek a new superintendent. The group also mentions that the trustees knowingly and deliberately are burdening the future of the school board. I know people claim that uh, that I shouldn't be making those type of uh, irrational decisions, you know, three weeks from, from, from an election. But, uh, but at the end of the day, my job doesn't end until, until those three weeks get here. So I'm still a board member until November 8th. De La Cruz added that the board will continue to see if their attorney can have a judge look at the restraining order before election day.